President Trump is keeping his promise to make America healthy again. After striking a deal with Pfizer to lower the cost of prescription drugs for Medicaid users, the president signed an executive order to use AI to develop new treatments for childhood cancer. With this order, I'm also directing the federal government to fully utilize artificial intelligence to supercharge pediatric cancer research. It's uh, pretty amazing what's happening. For years, we've been amassing data about childhood cancer, but until now, we've been unable to fully exploit this trove of information and apply it to practical medicine. Using cutting-edge AI, we will empower our scientists and researchers to discover new treatments, cures, and prevention strategies. Now joining us is former co-director of Children's Obesity Program at Children's National Hospital, as well as surgeon and founder of ProCare Consultants, Dr. Evan Nadler, along with Chief Innovation Officer and co-CEO of Health Tech Without Borders, Dr. Bob Arnott. Uh, Dr. Bob, I'm going to go with you first, um, talking about the Pfizer deal that was announced at the White House yesterday. Uh, the, prom- the president uh, promised to unveil a direct-to-consumer website, Trump RX. Uh, uh, where, you know, patients, Americans can go and directly uh, get their drugs uh, from an online pharmacy, essentially, at lower prices negotiated by the federal government, as well as, you know, Pfizer agreeing to label some of its drugs, give them to the lowest price, the nation's, uh, the lowest price that they're offering other com- countries, they'll offer um, Americans. Uh, what does this mean um, for the healthcare industry and for consumers who want lower healthcare costs? Well, it's fantastic. This is something that Democrats and Republicans have tried to do for decades and, and not accomplished. The, the threat of tariffs was the really sort of brilliant strategy here that Pfizer saw those tariffs for medications that may come into the United States if they manufacture abroad. So now they're exempt from those for three years and they're putting $70 billion to the manufacturer of drugs here in the United States. Now, big discount, of course, for Medicaid, although Medicaid patients often have a low copay, but it will mean less of our tax dollars spent on drugs for Medicaid. The headline, though, Kelly, the one I love is this consumer side, and I'll tell you why. I deal all the time with patients who, they have a decent job, they don't have insurance, they don't have very much, and they have a condition like arthritis. Do you know that it's six thousand dollars a year for the for the really high-tech wonderful new drugs this will be one of the discounted drugs another migraine which so many people suffer from twelve hundred dollars for six shots again discounted and it's just the beginning there's six other drug companies will be coming into the white house over the next couple of weeks or so so it's a it's a huge win for the consumer it's a huge win obviously for the administration and for taxpayers And it's a big win for pharma now who evades those tariffs and will now be manufacturing these drugs in the United States. Dr. Nadler, um, anything you want to comment on uh, regarding the Pfizer agreement as well as uh, the Trump Rx? Uh, But I wanted to talk to you about AI, in uh, the $50 million for AI in pediatric cancer research. What does this mean um, for, for, for R&D? What does this mean for, for children diagnosed uh, with cancer? Yeah, well, well, thanks for having me, first of all. And um, second of all, to your uh, question about the Pfizer deal, uh, I'm not as optimistic as uh, Dr. Bob. Um, you know, the, the um, uh, amount of dollars, this is a deal for Medicaid, Medicaid only. So that's not a lot of dollars for Pfizer, and Pfizer already has 13 U.S. plants where they manufacture drugs. So I do agree the $70 billion is nice, and that's probably the best part of the deal, um, but that's going to go into probably, you know, revamping those manufacturing sites or or um, upgrading them. Um, but I don't think the average consumer is going to see any difference from from the Pfizer drug standpoints, and I think Trump RX is... Uh, makes me chuckle because obviously it's a play to uh, compete with Obamacare. And, um, you know, there are lots of sites out there already that are low-cost drug finding sites. So not as optimistic that the average consumer is going to see a huge impact from from that deal. Um, And with the pediatric cancer initiative, you know, it's it's interesting because um, it's $50 million towards pediatric cancer, which is great. No one's going to argue that that's a... um, 
money not well spent. Um, but at the same time, there are all the cuts to the NIH, you know, indirect costs that sort of hamper uh, some of the pediatric cancer research on the other side. So it's, it's really hard to know what's going to end up being the case, what's the scenario going to be once it all plays out. Uh, you know, there's a, something called the Children's Oncology Group, which already does a ton of this research. So I'm not sure how much additive uh, information there will be with this initiative, but uh, kudos to the administration for putting more money toward uh, pediatric cancer. Well, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this develops, whether more pharmaceutical companies join Pfizer. Um, we know the administration said that they want to launch Trump RX uh, in 2026. So it'll be interesting to see how that launch goes and how many people will be able to access the drugs that they want at a lower price. And in terms of AI with uh, cancer research, it's AI is only going to help uh, further develop, you know, potential treatments for pediatric cancer. So it's all a good thing. The president's got his eye on the ball. How it all works out, though, uh, we will be paying attention to and following. But Dr. Evan Nadler and Dr. Bob Arnott, thank you both for joining me today. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks again for having me.